Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Crystal Sky. Make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every single time that we upload an amazing free flowing video on this beautiful YouTube space. Um, we are creating a Mustang community of free beautiful spirits. So I would love for you guys to join this journey with me. And I'm really excited because I wanted to talk a little bit today about um, you know, I've been getting some messages and, you know, just some really voluminous feelings that I had to talk about the fact that we need to find ways to have a really good ritual for self care and business ritual. And what are the two? Or why are they, why are they even important? Right? Like, why am I even talking about this? I think it's important to have really good self-care because we need to take care of ourselves. When we take care of ourselves first, we're able to take care of others. When we love ourselves first, we're able to love deeper others. Um, when we have a sense of worthiness, we are able to understand each person in our lives' worthiness. When we, when we find worthiness in ourselves, we're able to understand worthiness among others. So when we take time to give ourselves self-care, self-love, nourishment, filling our cups, right? Uh, taking our care of our, our, um, our hygiene, taking good showers, um, you know, changing, changing your clothes, um, you know, brushing your teeth, having a, a beautiful skincare routine. It doesn't have to be expensive. Like some, you know, sometimes people are like, oh, well, it's, you know, skincare is so expensive and blah, blah. You don't have to do an expensive product line if, if you don't, uh, you know, have the, the, the funds for it right now. It's all about just taking care of yourself. There's some really good drugstore brands out there. There's CeraVe, um, you know, there's Vanna Cream. Uh, so, you know, there's some really cool brands and you can explore different ones. If you like the higher end products, go splurge on yourself, try out new products. Um, so I think self-care is really important. Doing self-love acts uh, and, and in, in incorporating good habits to take care of our bodies, our minds, our spirits, our souls, and yes, our energy. When we take care of our energy, we're feeling renewed. We're feeling an, a just voluminous amount of amazing amounts of energy to give to ourselves and to give to others. How does that tie into business ritual? I believe in law of attraction. I believe in manifestation. And I am a very powerful positive manifester. I'm very grateful to having that. Um, but it's a practice. It's a discipline. It's a practice. It's not just, okay, you know, um, I was born good at manifesting. It's something that I wish, you know, that would be amazing, but we have to practice it. We have to believe our manifestations. We have to believe in our law of attraction of the things that we're wanting and attracting. If you want a $300,000 paying job a year, you can definitely get it. It will come easily, but you have to practice being in that moment of feeling what it feels like to have a $300,000 paying job. If you want your dream home, it is so easily obtained if you believe that you deserve it and that you create new belief systems and mindsets in understanding law of attraction and manifestation has to start with believing and feeling what it would feel like. You can just use vis visualization. I can't even say that word right now, guys. Visualization. Close your eyes. Feel the feelings. I believe it was uh, Naval Goddard that, that really, um, you know, exerts, uh, you know, the, the, the idea of vis visualization and imagining that you already have what you are wanting. So I think it's very important, very important. If you're wanting uh, you know, a high paying job, if you're wanting a home, if you're wanting a new car, if you're wanting you know, a new horse. <laughs> um, I have three beautiful horses around me at all times and I absolutely love it. But if I wanted a fourth horse, I would manifest that. Um, and so what you do is you just manifest those things by actually taking the time to practice the ritual of feeling what it would feel like 
to be a millionaire, to have your dream home, to have your dream job, to be a YouTuber, to, um, you know, if, if, if you're wanting to be a mom and, you know, you're, you're having trouble, uh, you know, getting pregnant, you can visualize what it would feel like to be a mom and start to unblock some of these energy blockages by allowing the flow of energy to circulate, but also to be a magnet of the things that you're wanting in your life, a magnet of things that you're wanting in your life. How does this all play out into business ritual? Business ritual. Business ritual is so important because it is like self-care ritual, but it is for business purposes. So when you're taking care of your hygiene, you're taking care of, you know, brushing your teeth, washing your hair, you know, taking good showers, changing your clothes, doing all these amazing things, right? Filling your cup, taking care of your body, taking care of everything about you. What you want to do with business ritual is very identical to self-care ritual in the fact that, you know, with business, you, we, we can sometimes be overwhelmed right, by clients or, you know, the dream job that you want or looking for a job or starting a business or, you know, maintaining a business. There's like 90,000 different things that I could be listing right now. Um, but in all aspects, the same foundation starts. That is before you start your work, whether it being if you're driving to a place and working, whether it being a home office, whether it being starting to call clients or whether it being starting to apply for jobs or whether it being starting your business, whatever it is, the start of whatever you're doing has to start with five minutes of you sitting and visualizing where you want to go visualizing why are you sitting there doing what you're doing is it because you want to love your job is it because you want to get a raise is it because you want to start a business that you know and believe in and have passion in that's going to really amplify and be of service why are you why why do you care about your business ritual that's the first question then you answer it well my business ritual i'm starting my business ritual because i want to have a clear mind of a direction of where I'm going in my career path. Then the next thing is, is thank the higher beings. Thank your spiritual guides, thank your angels. You know, um, thank God, the universe, the Virgin Mary, uh, you know, higher source, um, you know, whatever it is that you believe in. There's, you know, St. Peter, or whatever. <laughs> I mean, just, uh, you know, um, whatever you believe in, um, you know, uh, the, the God trees, Mother Earth, Father Sky, uh, thank them. Thank them for everything that you already have. You already have so many blessings. Thank them for those blessings. And then ask them to guide you into having a better ritual for your business. And what I mean by that is having the time to meditate for a little few seconds and then going into a ritual of deservance, a ritual of deservance of saying, I deserve the opportunity to get this job. I deserve the opportunity to gain more clients. I deserve the ability to start this business. I deserve to be continuing my business. Then the next thing is, is evaluate evaluate are you being of service because if you're being of, of service you're always going to be wealthy when you are a person of service you are always going to be a very very successful and wealthy person why because when we come from a place of service and we're able to deliver people around us Find that level of energy magnetic. They, found it, they find it so magnetic that that pulls people in. Wow, this person is so of service. They really help with such and such and such. Boom, call them. Hey, I have a situation, but I know who to call. Such and such. Give you an, a great example. I have, um, we have some amazing clients and... Uh, this couple is 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 uh, a client of ours and um, very amazing people. Absolutely love them. They had a situation at hand, and um, they 
had a, a little bit of a stressful event happen in their life. And it, it was on a Sunday. It was on a Sunday, okay guys? So it was Sunday and the weather was hysterical. There was like ice storm, blizzard, um, you know, just <laughs> uh, everything going on with, with the weather that day. And I was working and I was doing some scripting and I was doing all kinds of different things. And I get a text message from the wife. And she's like, I really need to see if you're available to call. And if not, that's okay. But we really would like to, to, to speak with you on the phone. So I'm like, sure, get on the phone with them. And it turns out that there was a situation that was going on in their home or, or with their business. And um, they had gotten a situation with a client that wasn't a bad situation with the client, but it was just an uncomfortable energy that they were feeling. And so right away they called me on the phone to do a blessing and a clearing of their home and to, to do an energy clearing of their home. But the, the thing of that is um, she had mentioned to me that her husband specifically, like after they had that encounter, you know, with the uncomfortable situation, it was seconds that the husband was like, we need to call Crystal, like right, right now, like we need to call her. And it was like, in that moment, that is such an epic example of being of service because you have a client that was in a distressful situation and who did they think of? They thought of me, which is, first of all, thank you. Second of all, an honor. And third of all, OMG, like really? Like that is the sweetest thing in the whole entire world that they thought of me. So I'm just really grateful. Um, but they know that I'm really good at what I do and so they have belief in me, they have trust in me, and they know that I am of service, that I come from a place of service to give, to give and deliver. So when you take time to practice a very good business ritual, you will always be successful. You will always be successful because a business ritual is the very foundation of a self-care ritual that is taking care of yourself, that is taking care of the people around you, that is being of service, being of service to yourself and being of service to others. So self-care and business, uh, you know, self-care rituals and business rituals are the very fundamentals at square at the, at the starting of the step one. If you want to be successful in your life, guys, you have to develop a business ritual. Now, I named a few examples. I kind of gave you a small little structure. It wasn't, you know, hardcore. It wasn't like we did a SWOT analysis, okay? So calm down. <laughs> um, but I gave you a basic skeleton in this video of a business ritual. And I want you to kind of take, dissect my video a little bit. And sometimes I ramble, so, you know, skip through the rambling part, but kind of go through the exact outline that I had mentioned previously um, for you to write down step by step the things that I was mentioning. When you take five minutes, it's five minutes of a discipline practice. It changes everything for your success and your wealth and your continuous success. With law of attraction and manifestation, you have to really visualize and believe, believe that you already have the abundance, believe you already have the wealth, believe you already have everything that you want. First of all, you have so many blessings in your life at this very moment. Make a list. Make a list of every single blessing that you have in your life right now and that you're grateful for. And then go deep, go diving deep into visualization and really feeling law of attraction and manifestation are yours and are there for you. They're there for you to help you to understand that your wildest dreams are already coming true because you deserve it and you feel it and you know it and you believe with your mindset, having a good mindset that you can achieve all that you want in your life. So I hope this video has served you in some kind of way, or you just wanna hang out with me and have a chill night. Um, somebody out there might've needed to hear this. Somebody out there was like, I already do this, great. And if you already do it, keep doing it. And if you don't wanna do it, then that's on you. But 
All I'm saying is, is I really had a deep message inside of me from the angels and spiritual guides and all these amazing people, um, you know, on, on our spiritual team uh, that was really poking at me to give this video and to deliver it and to be of service. So guys, take care of yourselves, take care of your business, careers, whatever it is that you're wanting. Um, even if you're a stay at home parent, that's still a job. That's still a business ritual. So, um, you still got to take that five minutes to be like, okay, you know, um, it's in, and, and, you know, being a housewife or, um, you know, a house husband or, you know, whatever that you're doing, if you're a stay at home parent or, you know, stay at home spouse, you're still working and that's still a job. So you still have to consider a business ritual even for that. So I love you guys, sending so much love to you. Remember to celebrate all your victories and wins, no matter how big or small they might be. We love you on this amazing channel. Subscribe, be part of the journey, hang out with me, and namaste. Mwah.